Hi, my name is John Bosworth. I'm a licensed mental health counselor in St. Petersburg, Florida. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about statistics of children with ADHD. ADHD is a neurobehavioral developmental disorder that affects approximately 3 to 5 percent of children with onset of symptoms before the age of 7. Um, in the United States and in, in my practice, I tend to see that those, those statistics, you know, based on um, you know, local schools, that kind of thing, seem to be pretty, pretty accurate. On a global level, we see that the, the rate of ADD around the world is basically about 5% too. So that 3 to 5% of all children seems to be a, 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 pretty, good, um, a pretty good estimate as to the, the prevalence of the disorder. Um, sometimes I'm skeptical as to statistics because are we ruling out other um, symptoms that could mimic ADD, but there really aren't that get clustered in there. So hopefully when we're looking at that, we're looking at truly diagnosed ADHD. Also, ADHD is twice as common in boys than it is girls. So when I look at that, sometimes I have trouble with, with diagnosis with ADHD because is it really a disorder for some people or is it just easier to group somebody and especially boys into that category because they might be more prone to attention problems or they might be more prone to uh, impulsivity or hyperactivity. So again, proper, true, accurate diagnosis is really, really important. The, the interesting thing about ADHD in children is we find that about 30 to 50 percent of children that are, that are truly diagnosed with ADHD in their childhood go on to actually maintain the symptoms and have trouble with attention deficit and hyperactivity problems into adulthood. Symptoms are the same, they usually just manifest in uh, different contexts, work instead of school, intimate relationship instead of schoolyard relationship. My name is John Bosworth and I'm discussing statistics of children with ADHD.